YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Dico TV, and I'm back with another video. You feel me? As you can see by the title today, we got a light blow video. This was a highly requested video, and right now, what I'm going to be doing is the updated thumbnail tutorial. If you didn't know, I dropped one back in 2019. It was around the time when I first started my YouTube channel, and I was kind of getting into making thumbnails. I do say I've gotten a lot better in it, and pretty much, I'm going to show y'all the sauce. I'm going to show y'all how to make them so elite. I'm going to make them, I'm going to show you how to make them really nice. You feel me? For all those up and coming YouTubers or people with channels in general that just want to know, you feel me? Right into this video, enough talking. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video on the channel with your friends. And we on the road to 1.4 with Grinding 2K. Have me on my social medias. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. basically before you start making your thumbnail you always want to get a, a picture of what you want to do in my opinion i would recommend recording your thumbnail um process as you'll see in the next clip i don't know it just makes it like a little bit better you feel me basically um there's three apps you're going to be using superimpose x pixart and fonto those are three apps that i use for my thumbnails follow along and your thumbnails will be goaded you feel me so what I like to use pretty much is a stylus. If you don't know what a stylus is, it's pretty much like phone pencil. You can use your hands too, it doesn't matter, but I just like to use this, it just makes it look better. So you wanna open superimpose your thing. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the big plus button in the middle and go to whatever your picture is for your thumbnail. Now, if you didn't know, the ratio for thumbnails on YouTube is uh, 16 by nine. So, and that actually is there for you if you scroll over, you just, bring the grid down and then you just try to match it up as best as you can with the picture it, if it doesn't get matched up perfectly it's okay you can either do it again or stick with it it does not matter then basically after that you want to click on that picture in the bar with the plus on at the bottom and press duplicate layer so duplicate the layer then you go to the mask button in that bar you go to mask tool and you press like the lasso with the stars around it you feel me that one right there you can also do an auto mask but sometimes the auto mask doesn't work all the way. It makes it kind of messed up a little bit. You can try it, but it's better to just chase it. Yeah. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the tracer. So let's go. After I get the cutout of the thumbnail, I have a folder dedicated to stuff I add onto my thumbnails. Pretty much anything ranging from, you know, like emojis, anything that makes it pop, you feel me? Arrows, stuff like that. Fire, you know, do is add something. My favorite thing to add right now is this right here. I love this. It just makes it pop, you feel me? You drag it under what you want it to be under behind right there. And what you want to do is go to blend. When you go to click the layers tab and you pick soft light. You can do either one, it doesn't matter. Me personally, I do soft light and I go to mask tool. You see how it does that? You feel me? I like that. I like gave it like, I made like the background visible so it looks like it's like morphing. Yeah, morphing, that's the word. And I give it a little bit more zoom. I would do, one of my favorite things in this is the drop shadow. Now the drop shadow just always gives it that pop, you feel me? Like it makes it look mad good. And you see that bro? There's this bar, there's opacity and blur amount. You can do many different colors. What I pretty much like to do is sometimes I like to start off with black and I would just up the opacity and lower blur. And then I would duplicate it and give it like a white backdrop. I would up the white all the way, you feel me? And then duplicate it again and do a black drop shadow. So you like, you see what I'm saying? You see how it does that? It gives it like that nice little pop. Like that it looks nice, no cap. Pretty much you could go to editor and you go to tools and then there's a mask outline button. You can give your, your thing a mask outline. I don't know why my shit looks so demented. 
got that little backdrop shadow. That shit looks, it looks tough. You can't even, you can't even lie. So then another thing I like to do is I go to photo layer and I like to put it in the back of my stuff. So what you would do is you would drag it all the way down and it like gives, like if you hold on, just watch. It gives it like some type of pop, you feel me? I like to duplicate it in as much smoke as I can. Like you see that bro, like, ooh, that shit looks tough. You can't even, you can't even cap, that shit looks tough. So yeah, you see that? You see how that looks kind of nice, you feel me? Ooh. And also this is where the other two apps come into play. Fonto, basically, that's your title app. That's where you get the words. Pretty much once you get into Fonto, you're gonna go to the plain images. You would click this black background and then you would go to the top right corner, press that arrow with the square and press use. You feel me? Now me personally, the font I like to use is Burbank Big Condensed. How to make thumbnails 2020. You can up the size on it too if you want. But um, anyways, yeah. What I like to do is it's, it's like this orange and yellow type color pattern. It's, it's really nice. It like gives it like, you know what I'm saying? If you look at it, it's like, it looks like the sun, you feel me? It's mad nice. It's one of my favorite color patterns to do. So once you get that, you feel me? You go to, what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep saving these. So I'm gonna make two of them. How to make, just do how to make thumbnails. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just do how to make thumbnails. And you would save that. Now, once you save those, you go back to Superimpose X. You know what I'm saying? Put a mask and then you would press like, it's like the, it's like a magic wand with stars around it. You click that and it basically does that. It's basically one of those things that gets rid of one color. You know what I'm saying? If I was supposed to do it on the W, it would get rid of that, you feel me? So you just zoom in, go to all the holes in the, in the letters and just get rid of that. Do it like that. Actually, nah, that looks mad weird. All right, y'all, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I, I decided to get a little fancy and I put, I put the superimposed logo inside the phone. But um, pretty much what you want to do is, after that, I like to add a little, I like to add this arrow. If you want me to send you this arrow, I can send you this arrow. It's like one of my favorites. It's like this red skinny arrow. And with the letters, you can also give them a drop shadow. And here's another trick. If you want to get 3D letters, like 3D letters, you would duplicate the letters that you have and go to transform and you would hold down on the screen and use that drop down arrow to get the 3D text. And then you go to cast shadow, you see it gives you that 3D text. I like to use it sometimes, but not all the time if I'm being completely honest. And after that, whatever you want to do, you can add this if you want. I'll be adding some star eye emojis. You know what I'm saying? This, some more emojis, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I did a little bit more. So you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what the thumbnail will look like but i haven't added some more drop shadows yet so let's do that real quick after that that's basically how you do the thumbnail or whatever there's more and more you can add you can even add color layers like if you want if i wanted to i could do a would click these other these little squares right here you know what i'm saying i like to use the second one let's see uh i'll do this color i like this color you would press 16 by 9 you would fit to canvas, go to blend, and always pick overlay. Oh, actually, that shit looks tough. Uh, let's add some more smoke, I guess. Oh, that's tough. But that's pretty much it. You would after that, you would pretty much shake the thumbnail, and this is when the last app comes to play. What you would do is press the plus sign. You would go to the thumbnail you just made, you feel me? And then you would go to FX effects. And this is pretty much where you can add enhancements. You can add many enhancements. What I like to do, is like a sharpening enhancement. It's called HDR. You would click it and wait for it. Sheesh. Ooh, see how, you see that pop it just gave it, bro, you feel me? But after that, you would press apply and pretty much save the thumbnail. So let's get to this outro. All right, yo, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video on the channel with your friends, you feel me? You know the deal. Um, If you still have any questions on how like thumbnails are made, feel free to ask any of them in the comment section. I will personally reply to every question because I'm here to help y'all. This is pretty much here to help y'all. From when I first started this, I could not make a single thumbnail. Like my thumbnails were terrible. It may seem like a lot of work, but trust me, it is worth it in the end because you want to get thumbnails look like this, 
Exactly, you feel me? You grinding, make sure you add me on my Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I did just make a TikTok, so make sure y'all go check that out too. I'm gonna put that in the description along with my social medias, you feel me? Like as you are, that's your partner. I love y'all. Be easy. Okay, bye.